Summit. Put your hands together for Ben Amber. How y'all doing tonight? I'm sorry. How you been? All right. I'm on my cheese like I'm in high school. I still feel it. Show of hands, how many people came here tonight because you knew I was performing or you're with somebody you knew I was performing, you're here to support me? Okay. See, everybody got drinks in front of them. Some of you getting your crunk on. Some of y'all might un be under the influence of some substances you can't pull out here in the club. And I know this for a fact because I smelt you. <laughs> I remember a couple years ago when the smoking band started, I had a friend that was complaining. I was like, look, dude, just chill out. You'll get used to it. And before you know it, you'll forget that I even did it. He goes, Ben, you don't care, man. You don't smoke cigarettes anyways. I said, well, bullshit. I've been banned from everything I've ever smoked. So take that. <laughs> Ain't like I've been able to sit at McDonald's and pull out a water bong after I down a Big Mac. <laughs> Never walked into a bar, had a couple shots, put out a crack pipe, and everybody go, oh, it's cool. <laughs> Tell me about a smoking man. Right here, 17 years clean and sober, people. 17 years. Thank you. Then I turned 18, I've been high ever since, I'll tell you. <laughs> I often try to remember those first 17 years. <laughs> Drugs and alcohol have led me to make some bad decisions in my life. Some of those have become in the dating scene. Yeah, look, I got a bunch of extra girlfriends here going, that son of a bitch, I knew it. <laughs> I told you on Facebook, you better not say a word. You all chill out, this isn't about you. It's about this one girl that I dated to work at a strip club. Yeah, some of y'all know those types, right? That's the first for me. I never dated a bouncer before, but I... <laughs> she was mean. I used to get smashed to come home and watch TV. I'll tell you what I loved about late night TV is the commercials. And one of my favorites was Valtrex, the General Herpes commercial. <laughs> First off, my first thought was, why do they advertise for this? I mean, do people with that problem not know to go get some damn help? <laughs> and I mean, if you're here and you got general herpes, I'm not picking on you. Just stay the hell away from me. <laughs> I got enough problems. You want to have a behind on child support? Fuck <laughs> thing I was wondering is how sucky of an agent you gotta have to get the job as the herpes guy in the commercial. <laughs> he calls you in the office like, look oh, man, times are hard, you ain't been in work for a while, but look, I landed you one, it's nationally syndicated. However, you're gonna be known as the right penis guy for the rest of your life. You probably won't get laid after this one. <laughs> I have genital herpes, and I still don't. <laughs> Just give it time. <laughs> You're gambling there. But I figured out Valtrex. The commercial's not for people who need Valtrex. It's actually for people like me who don't have it, and I'm out there dating. It's a warning. It says, hey, Ben, if she's on this pill, get out of there. <laughs> Another one of my favorite commercials, Male Enhancement Products. Man. Tell me, listen, if those things work, every guy would be eating them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I don't care if you're well endowed, you'd be doing it just to beat everybody else still. You, know, like, you ain't catching up with me, buddy. I'm already 13. I mean, First time I ever seen one of them commercials, I wasn't paying attention to what it was about. I just heard add one to three inches. I got excited because I thought it made you taller. <laughs> I'm like, damn, I could be five foot seven by the end of the month. Oh. But another thing about those male enhancement products, I remember one time in the commercial, the guy goes, uh, she bought the pill for me. I was like, dude, that's an insult. i <laughs> mad as hell if I come home. She's like, honey, I got dinner on the table, got your new script. Vitamin B and extends. <laughs> well, I will admit, one night while I was intoxicated, I did give it a try and I called and I ordered a generic form of male enhancement product and three days later I got a magnifying glass in the mail. <laughs> and it works. I look huge. That's all 
long time I got, y'all. <laughs>